Good afternoon, it is day 15. As promised, I have synced my Fitbit. I'm just going to open my journal. In the last five days, I have lost 1.3 kilograms in weight, which is quite a lot. Uh, more than I expected. I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, my sleep has been pretty epic. So, night 11, uh, as I mentioned, a few videos ago, I had two nights where I was restless, and and um, and I went to bed late, and I woke up early, and I and I suspected that my uh, two nights of sleep would be under the goal, and they are indeed. So uh, night eleven was six hours and forty eight, and night twelve was five hours and eighteen. <laughs> However, I have been making up for it in the last few days. Uh, night thirteen, eight hours fifty six, fourteen, seven hours thirty one. And last night, 10 hours and 52. Uh, yeah, I slept really long last night. I actually got out of bed about half past one today. Um, but uh, probably catching up from the anxiety, for want of a better word, the excitement from having new neighbours come in and uh, waking me up. So I think last night I just... Because uh, I decided to just conquer it and sleep through it and to pretend that their footsteps were like cars passing on the road. And uh, yeah, I clearly slept a lot. Today I'm a little bit groggy. Uh, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I want to go back to a warm bed and, and chill out resting. Um, I have decided to stop drinking that parasite tea because I had a little bit today. And... Uh, yeah, because I, as I mentioned in my last video, I've been praying, like, should I keep taking this tea? Is it making me nauseous? Is it a good kind of nausea that I'm detoxing? Is it too much? Maybe I should stop. And uh, on my walk today, which was absolutely beautiful, it, autumn everywhere, so quiet, amazing. Uh, on my walk today, uh, I had a thought. I, f I finally got my answer um, as I was kind of talking in my head to God. And the answer is that I'm not drinking a lot of water at the moment because my body is preserving uh, all important minerals. I'm not taking electrolytes um, because I can't really, they're too salty, I can't really stomach it. I'm not drinking tea anymore, I'm literally just water at the moment. And I'm trying to stomach like a, a gram of calcium um, each night, just... Just to help me, but that's it. And uh, my answer today was this detox tea is fine, it's healthy, it's normal, but it's just putting a little bit of strain on me because I'm not drinking enough fluids, um, which is why I always feel better when I'm tucked up in bed and warm because your body warms up and I naturally start drinking water because you're evaporating and the water circulates through your body more. And yeah, that is, I think that. That is where I drink the most water, when I get into bed in the evening and I watch my K-dramas and then when I wake up in the morning and I just chill out and relax and enjoy the warm bed, that's when I'm drinking the most water. When I get out of bed, I'm hardly drinking anything at all, um, barely a cup now these days. So that is my answer. I'm not going to drink any more of this tea until I start drinking fluids heavily again, which will be when I start eating normally again. So that is my answer. Great. Uh, as for my spiritual thought of the day, today I decided to read a little bit of Esther. I'm going to show you my Bible. I love my Bible. It is epic. I actually, <laughs> I actually have a few Bibles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but this one, oh, I've got two favorite Bibles. One is, yeah, okay. I really love this Bible because I had this when I was a kid. Um, and I lost it when we moved because we immigrated a lot and it got packed in boxes. But what I love about this Bible is that on every page there's like illustrations and I don't want to lose my bookmark. So yeah, there's, um, okay, not on that page. But yeah, it's like full of illustrations throughout the entire Bible. There's like well over a thousand and it's just so amazing to read. I'm such a visual person. I'm so, so creative. And this just totally appeals to me. It makes the stories even 
uh, like they're amazing already but it's but it's like um yeah it's it's like you see things and then you see things on a different level and that and this bible really helps me to do that i i'm very visual very visual <laughs> so i love it and i was reading the book of esther today and um the thing that stuck out to me was that king xerxes um he had his wife vashti and um First of all, Xerxes came across to me as a really kind man because not only did he a bit of a show off as well, but he had this great uh, party after his, during his third year reign. Uh, he had like he was owner of 120 province, 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia, like he, he was pretty epic. In his third year, he held a huge party that lasted for 180 days to generals and. Uh, all the important people um, and after that he then decided which I thought was really kind of him to throw a party for everybody in the city that he was living in his holiday home city it's based um, according to the notes um, the city of Susa is the city where the, they would go to in winter so it's like their holiday home so everybody in that city was invited for seven days into the royal grounds uh, or castle or whatever so, so somewhere you know good and <laughs> and they had a party for seven days and the king was really generous and he was like don't let their cups go empty like that's a really nice king really cool however at the end of the seven days he uh, he wanted to show off his wife Vashti and his wife Vashti was busy entertaining all the lady friends they were having their own banquet in the palace and she didn't want to see him which I thought, you know, fair enough. If you don't want to see someone, you don't want to see someone. But then the king got really angry. <laughs> and he called all his counsellors. He's like, what am I going to do about this? All the other wives who are dining with her are going to go back to their husbands and start disrespecting them. And I was thinking, whoa, we've come a long way with feminism, haven't we? <laughs> It's my thought of the day. <laughs> King Xerxes was a kind man. <laughs> but he was also fearful of woman power. <laughs> and Vashti wasn't. <laughs> but it cost Vashti a lot. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That, that's my spiritual thought of the day. <laughs> I'm going to carry on reading a little bit more later. I like to read little chunks at a time. It's easier to uh, remember important points from from the Bible when you read little parts of a story at a time rather than trying to read a whole chapter or anything just read until your brain goes oh okay let's stop and process and that's it and I find that's the easiest way to read the Bible because it's so huge I think God gave us the Bible in its huge size for us to not get bored for the rest of our lives because there's so much material that we can pick it up every single day read a little bit and ponder on it and yeah that's my theory I, I think I'm gonna hope to finish reading the Bible at some point in my life <laughs> not in the near future <laughs> uh, so how am I doing I'm tired today as I mentioned I'm gonna stop drinking this parasite tea I'm really not liking it um, I think it's yeah too much for my body. I think my body is detoxing enough as it is at the moment and I don't need to be putting any extra strain. In positive news, I did send the Housing Association an email with a proposal to buy rugs and I even selected the rugs, I put the links in, I put the delivery cost, all the details, reason why they should do it, why it's the best solution. Uh, and an explanation for the acoustics, like a, a proper detailed proposal, uh, but also to the point. Not too long, not dragging on. Um, yeah, just a clear and concise email. So um, I don't think it could be any better. Uh, so I prayed about it, sent it off, and uh, hopefully they will agree. Uh, my hope is that these guys will go, this is such a good proposal, um, it's worth it. Uh, let's go for it. That's my hope. I'm going to call uh, the Housing Association who leases the flat above me tomorrow. We'll have a conversation and we'll see how it goes. 
Um, and also the cat I wanted to adopt has been taken. Uh, oh well, there will be more. Uh, I'm after a Persian specifically. I love Persians. I've had two Persians in my life and I love looking after their coats. I love their quiet nature, their domestic nature. That's exactly the kind of cat that I want. Um, something, someone, something, some cat <laughs> to keep me company, chill out, relax. Yeah. So now I'm going to jump into bed. It is 5.38. Did I tell you all my Fitbit details? No, I didn't. My resting heart rate has dropped down to 49. Yeah. yeah. And I think, yes, I think last night I had a record amount of deep sleep. I had 2 hours and 18 according to my Fitbit. So, um, yeah, that's a lot. Normally I hover around the 1 hour 48 mark, deep sleep. And normally my REM is just a little bit over that. But, um, yeah, my REM was 156 last night, which is normal. My light sleep was 6 hours 11, which is also really a lot. So this means that my body, even if I'm only going for um, one walk a day, half an hour, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, even if I'm just going on a chilled out walk, um, it clearly my body is doing a lot because it's clearly needing to rest. Um, and to lose 1.3 kilograms in five days is a lot of weight actually because we're no longer talking about food and water anymore because this is day 11 to 15 I've had you know I flushed out everything in the first 10 days so um, yeah I'm really pleased um, also a little bit worried about how this tea is making me feel so I'm hoping that when I get into bed I'm gonna start feeling better and start rehydrating myself um, yeah and I noticed I found the correlation between Food and tiredness. The more tired I am, the more I'm craving food. Like I'm loving food all the time anyway, but when I'm tired, I'm craving it more. So today I was definitely tempted to uh, eat again, but I've gotten used to not eating, so that's fine. And also Jensen Franklin, I also listen to Jensen Franklin's Fasting is Hungering for God. I listen to that quite often just to remind myself, because uh, it's such a beautiful message and the more I listen to it, the more I fall in love with it. Every single day of this fast lately, I'm feeling more youthful, I'm feeling more like myself. I feel like I'm undoing all the years of stress of having to support myself, pay rent all by myself, you know, straight. Um, I moved to I moved um, to the UK when I was 19, literally straight out of high school. And I've been supporting myself ever since. And those years take a toll on you. And, you know, you, they do stress you out. And today, for the first time, I felt so youthful. Almost as though, like when I was still a student in university when I first moved here. And still hopeful, still alive, and still, um, yeah, full of enthusiasm. I felt like that today. And it's such a nice feeling. It's so youthful and and hopeful and believing in all good things and believing in the world and it's just such a nice and relaxed place to be I absolutely love it and I'm not going to say any more because I don't want this video to go on for too long uh, I hope you guys if anybody else is still fasting that your fast is going well uh, I hope you guys will sleep well if you are fasting and you broke your fast and you want to carry on mm, carry on you know, if you fall off the wagon, just get back on it. <sighs> Why not? <laughs> um, Alright, take care everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.